All right, so we're going to officially start. It's 10 o'clock. Um, welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is John Kudos. I'm an advisory board member of the TDC in New York. Uh, I am very excited to welcome Ken Tsai Li. Uh, he is actually logging in from Taipei in Taiwan. And it is, it's 10 o'clock here in New York, um, but I think it's 11 p.m. in Taiwan. So thank you, Ken, for staying up really late just to do this. Um, so I wanted to do a really quick introduction. Um, so I met Ken about 12 years ago. Ken is a, a really talented art director, um, and he came to New York and wanted to meet me to, to chat about graphic design, you know, and Ken, I have to say your English was uh, not excellent back then, but uh, <laughs> so much better today. Uh, so I'm so glad to see uh, that much progress happening. But what, what's been interesting for me to know Ken is as soon as he left New York uh, and went back to Taiwan, uh, all this amazing work that just started popping out, you know, on, on his Facebook feed. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to, um, to see uh, all the stuff that you've been doing. Uh, and I, I know you've been collaborating with the Type Directors Club, with the One Club, among others. So uh, I'm really excited to hear uh, more about what you've been doing for them. Uh, so just really quick formality, Ken Tsai Li is the founder of the Ken Tsai Li Design Lab at Taiwan Tech. He is the Taiwan representative of Type Directors Club New York and also Taiwan representative of Art Directors Club New York. Uh, he is also the design director of Taiwan Designers Week. Okay, Ken. Uh, yeah. Welcome and take it away. Okay, no problem. Yeah, um, uh, everyone, thank you for kudos. Uh, invite me to give a talk here. And also I apologize for my broken English. Yeah, um, today is, um, I would like to tell the, the, the story behind my work. And also, I, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Ken Chai Li. Uh, I'm a designer from Taiwan, uh, a small island in the Eastern Asia. Maybe some people, they don't know where it's Taiwan is. And um, the, uh, my background is I studied graphic design. And after I graduated from the school, I worked for the advertising agency. And also I taught in the high school until the 2002, I received a job to go to New York at the age 34. You know that some people got confused why I received a job because at the time I, I had a, a good job. I taught in the, I'm full-time faculty in the college. I taught the design and also I run a small studio. I got some design award. And also I was asked by publish house to publish my portfolio with other three top Taiwan designers. The some reason to make me to, to uh, uh, reset job. The first, I want to learn English because my English was very bad. Uh, in Taiwan, in my generation, the students started to learn English uh, in the junior high school, but I was very bad student at the time. And also I quit to study. But until the 30 years old, I started to have a chance to go to abroad to, uh, to do the uh, design exchange with other country designers. But I found the big problem I had is my English problem, uh, pronunciation, anything vocabulary. I couldn't speak anything, but I, I was desired to communicate with the foreigners. And also the second reason is because before I said, I run a small studio, I got uh, some design work uh, from the local and international. At that time, I thought if Sam Master in New York, his perfect score, I quantity uh, his ability. And maybe I, I also have an 80 score. Yeah, because I'm not so bad at that time I thought. But after I went to New York, I found the between 80 score, score to 100 score over maybe 1,000, even the 10,000 designer layer, but I couldn't see it. So the reason uh, to make me to resign a job uh, because I want to uh, open my eyesight. I want to enhance my skill. 
So uh, in the 2002, after one year, 911, I arrived in the New York. Um, this time I would like to say, um, Juan New York taught me the first lesson, lesson one. Uh, exploring the area between the design and art will do, bring the new possibility to design. Um, just arrived in New York second week, the someone introduced me a uh, Taiwanese. Uh, he was born in Taiwan, but he immigrated to America at the age of three. He just followed his parents to immigrate to America. He graduated from a very good, good design school. Also, at that time, he worked for a very good design company in New York. The first time I met him, uh, we couldn't, we, we only can communicate to use the, using the di uh, digital dictionary because I couldn't speak English. And then he doesn't speak Chinese. But just the first, just the two hours, the meeting after I back to home, um, to be honest, I almost cried. Yeah, because I found um, we see the world had a different angle, and also I could feel his world uh, is much much bigger than my world. So, uh, but what should I do? At, at that time, I had a very uh, bad idea. The bad idea is where you were born, what future you have. But later, I changed my mind because I still believe. We cannot choose where we were born, but we still can through our hard working to, to change our life. So I I went to a, I went to a language school to study. Uh, the placement test I get very low score, so I study from the uh, uh, level three. My school had the ten level, and my classmates all came from the Japan, Korea, Taiwan, or Thai. And just the one day, I found my Thai classmate check his Thai dictionary. I just curious to ask him how to write my name in Thai. And then when I just back to home, you know, in language school, we just study four hours a day. Other time is free. And when I back to home, I just did drawing something. And then I joined the, the picture. He gave me the, the word as a logo, like this one. And when I finished designing the logo, I was, I, I was, I got an idea. The idea is if I use my name, I use a different language to write my name and then uh, print it on the poster and post it on the many places of New York City, the people will ask who is Ken Chai Li. I was very exciting this kind of idea because I had never, I had never uh, doing this kind of artwork. Yeah, because I'm graphic designer, usually I just follow the client, client's need. And also sometimes in Taiwan, the designer, uh, client, the right designer, how to do the design. So when I got the idea, the first I need to, I need to design the different language of my name. So I designed the, the, this career. Uh, and luckily, before I say, my language school allowed all Asia. So when I take the subway, I went, uh, when I take the subway in the chain, I saw the, some people, someone who uh, read a newspaper in a different language. I had never seen it before. I just approached them to ask uh, uh, what is the language? And can you teach me how to write my name in, in your language? And, and then I collected uh, over um, almost 20 different kind of uh, the, the, the language uh, of my work. I designed a poster and I told my assistant because he, he, he was in Taiwan at that time. I just told him, say, uh, I need a print poster. He asked ask me how many copies I need because I had no idea. So he sent the over 100 kilo poster use the ferry from the Taipei sent to New York to me. 100 kilo, at least maybe 2,000 or 3,000 pieces. But I had never do this kind of job. I mean, when I was a designer in Taiwan, 
I just use a computer, use a software to design the poster. And then I send the digital file to the client and client sent to the printing factory to print out and distribute. But after I got the poster, I, I, I thought how to make it, what kind of stuff I need, what kind of screw I need. And I had never go to the, uh, the, I need to find the place to find the, this kind of st stuff. So over the middle line, from 12, one, two, three, four, five uh, a.m., I went to the Manhattan because at the time I live in Queens. I took a train. Luckily, in New York, the subway is 24 hours. So over the middle line, I bring the poster and my stuff to go to the maybe the midtown or downtown and post it to my poster. And you know, when I in the morning, I saw some people they pass by my poster. Even some people they pay much attention read my uh, statement on the poster. I was very happy, satisfied. Yeah, because it's kind of seen by others. And I could feel New York is the best stage uh, for the designer of artist. Yeah, and just, just one, one day uh, over the, maybe the 2 a.m., I bring the staff to go to a downtown. The way why I change it, change it to show, the, show my poster, because uh, just uh, when I prepare to post my poster, there's some people uh, behind me and come close to me and ask me, what are you doing? I just learned a sentence from the school. I say, uh, now of your business. They are so angry and yelling me, say, no, it's our business. And then calling me to stand up, even put my hand up. The one guy is behind me to check my whole body. Uh, the other guy took off my whole stuff, my bed part, my posture, even uh, the stapler. The, the other guy uh, just took the gun to point to, to, to me. I was very scared because I had never faced this kind of situation. They, they saw my posture and then they all left. Let's just make a joke because I didn't, I didn't know what joke they made. But when someone says something, others all left. The one guy just told me, say, hey, don't worry, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's not a big deal, just don't worry about that. So I saw maybe it's nothing. But finally, they just give me the hand car and follow them to turn the uh, police car to police station. You know, I had never go into the police, sta police station inside. Yeah, because when I was in Taiwan, I'm a good citizen, good person. I had never do anything wrong. So even the one police station, uh, police station near my home, but usually I just saw the outside. And then I saw the inside of the, the police station in New York. It, as the same as I saw in the American TV drama of the movie, and then the police asked me to do a fingerprint. And also uh, to the photo, we learned the highlight of the ball. And I just, I stay in, inside maybe for two hours. The police just tell me, give me a ticket. He said, okay, one month later, come to these edges. The judge will tell you how to do. I didn't know what's going on, but I just follow the, 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 the day and edges. The, in the morning, early morning, I took a train from the, uh, from the Queens to downtown. The, the address until now, I couldn't, I still remember. Uh, 100 number Central Road. When I approached this address, I found a lot of people in the waiting line. And I realized it's court. You know, this is my first time I uh, went to a court and the security to check everybody's bed. When I get inside, I waited for at least uh, maybe uh, three hours. And then the judge just said, okay, it's not a big deal, uh, just $60 fine and one day public service, that's it. I told the judge, I said, I had a, I took a digital, digital camera 
And then I just want to take a photo to send send to my friend in Taiwan. Say, hey, I'm New York. And then I tell the poster. And then uh, she saw the client and then just give me the other ticket. Said, months later, just come back again. Uh, months later, uh, in the early morning, something happened. Uh, again, I, I took the subway uh, to the downtown to the court. But this time, I didn't wait too so long, maybe only 30 minutes or 40 minutes. And then the judge just said, it's nothing, you can go. I was very surprised because, you know, he said, it's nothing. He said, you cannot be arrested again. If you be arrested again with the same thing, you will got a record. When I went to home, I, I saw my 100 kilo poster. I, I thought, what should I do? Yeah, because you know, in New York, if you, you ask someone to help you to clean the, the, the poster, and you, you need to pay the money. But you know, also the idea just stop. I got the other idea is I took a poster with a landmark together to take a photo. One of my classmates, uh, he's Korean. He liked to take a photo. So just the, just the day, we went to the different landmark to take a photo together. Um, in the image, you couldn't find uh, people in the image, right? Actually, a lot of people uh, stand uh, behind the photographer. Yeah, but you know, this kind of the project I meant, the one day, once my, my friend, he's an artist, he said when he saw the image, um, uh, he, see, he saw the poster on the street. He felt this design of the attachment. But when he uh, saw the image, I took the poster to take a photo with the landmark together. He felt this kind of art. I had never thought about what art is. Yeah, because I was training as a graphic designer. And when I was a student, my teacher said, uh, design is solving the problem. The art artist is uh, is great self. And this time, I started to interest uh, the area between art and design. And this project is I went to New York the half year I I made, it. and also uh, I published a book. My name is Ken Chai Li. The this is my first is post posture to New York. And I feel, yeah, because I research a job, I want to do something in New York. So I, I could feel, I find the new way to explain myself and the publish the book. And finally, I use the image in my name card. I have realized Actually, designer can do something like artists do, but also can use the artwork to put in the uh, design media. Yeah, and I think it's very important lesson for me. I learned uh, doing the New York. The lesson two, instead of the waiting for the client to give the case to do the design, designer can tell, uh, can create, uh, uh, something by yourself without any purpose. In this sentence, I need to explain for the designer, especially for the, some country designer, maybe um, client of the, you know, good design always happen in the, the country, the society, the client know what is good design and also respect designer and also customer of the people they know, they can appreciate a uh, high school design. And designer has the ability to show their skill. But if the society, the client just direct designer how to do the design, and always they don't have their idea to show in their work. Um, maybe for the five years, 10 years, they graduation, graduated to lose their soul. But so in the some country, like in the Taiwan and, and China in the 1990, the designer started to 
design the poster without any clients. I think it's a good idea. I mean, at the time, for the designer, they can show their talent. But this way uh, is different from what I, I learned from the lesson two. The lesson two is when I create something, it's without any purpose. Like the poster, some designers still doing the poster without, without client, but they still have the subject. Like they want to show the piece, they want to talk about the protecting environment or something like that. But in this lesson two, I learned is uh, the doing something maybe is kind of like the art, artist do. You just feel something and then you make it. You made the, 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 the work doesn't mean he had any purpose of just, just show your feeling. I would like to show what I had done for this lesson too. The typeface project, I did from the cultural experience. When I started to learn, learn, learn English, sure, I focus on the, 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 the turn of professional uh, the English. It's kind of like the typeface. What typeface, what typeface mean? When I learn the, the vocabulary, I just feel confused because, you know, in Chinese, type just type, T-Y-P-E. What, what typeface mean? Even I ask my uh, American friend, and then that cannot explain to me very well what type called the typeface. So I just imagine maybe the tie had a different shape like the people's face. So I asked my friend from the different country, I asked them to pick out the word, their native word to me. I made a mask to ask them uh, to take a photo. So you can find is American face, Japanese face, Korean face, and Thai face and uh, India face, Spanish face. And in the 2007, because the, this year celebrating 50 years of Helvetica, and I designed a poster to attend the, 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 the exhibition. Uh, as we know, a set of, of the type, we call the Thai family. So I asked people from a different country Diff, uh, well, the uh, different weight of had a vertical as a, uh, in, in a face to take a photo. A couple of years later, I went to Taiwan. I got a commission to do the identity for the Chinese character art festival. Uh, this festival is, uh, is cooperated with the Taiwan and China together. It's highest uh, the uh, Chinese character art festival, highest level. Yeah, so when I got the, got the commission, got the project, I thought, what is the Chinese typeface? What is Chinese face? I got the idea from the, uh, before I said I do the typeface project. So I want to make in a Chinese typeface. And now you can find the image. The Chinese character was composed by the A struck. So also who can represent the Chinese? I found the, I found a Guan Yu. Also we call the Guan Gong. Now he is kind of a gar. And he is a character uh, founder uh, of the Chinese opera. Uh, the, in the Chinese opera, the color on the face uh, the color represents something different. Like the red, red is representative of brave and justice. So I designed the logo. I used the a struck composed as a, 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 as a Guan Gong's face to make the logo. And also the posture, I found the student from the Chinese Apa school. I asked him to be the model for the poster. Uh, I painted the logo on his face, like the, uh, the, the mask of the Chinese opera. And then the some material of the, the, the festival. In this, in this case, 
uh, when I doing the Thai face project, I didn't have, I didn't have any purpose to making a Thai face project because I just curious about why Thai face Thai called the Thai face. So I making an image, and didn't have any purpose. But when I doing the uh, the key visual identity for the uh, Chinese character art festival, the the idea was influenced, inspired by the Thai face project. Um, uh, in this time, I had realized, like before the first lesson I learned, the designer can create the content and also use the content showing the design design uh, design project. One of my senior uh, designer friend, he said he had been doing the makeup for 30 years. He's not a makeup artist, he is a graphic designer. The meaning is he, he usually just doing the service for, for client. And I believe in these two cases, I started to believe the designer in the modern in the in the modern world, the designer is not only can do in the service, they also can create the content you know, like the artists do. Lesson three, seeing and be seen. Um, uh, since the 2008, I introduced the New York Tattery Club Chivalry Exhibition to Taiwan. And also I planned the Chinese typography exhibition to send to abroad to, to show. And uh, just luckily the 2007 or 2008, uh, because I own a word a couple of times from the TDC, so I know the Carl, the director for the TDC. And once we're talking about, he said, usually the travel expedition to Asia usually just go to the Japan. So he asked me, uh, he is interested to hold an exhibition in Taiwan. I, I contact my friend who teaching in uh, Asia University in Taichung. And he said he is, he is want to hold a exhibition. So in the 2008, uh, we had a great opening. Also, we invited the car to Taiwan to attend the, the opening. Yeah. And I would like to show the first, first I introduced to Taiwan is Yang Gang's, Yang Gang's six. Young Guns was, was represented by the ADC New York. The competition selected the SRN designer, fresh young talent who age under the 30. When I bring the Young, young Guns to Taiwan in the 2008, um, I wanted to design the identity for the exhibition by myself, the exhibition in Taiwan. Um, I want to use my uh, background, the Chinese cultural background, to uh, interpret uh, the young guns. Usually, for the Chinese people, we talking about who are excellent and outstanding. We talking about he is had a three hand and six arm. It's kind of like a monster. The one day I meet a guy. The guy just graduated from the university. His major was biology. He wanted to go into the design graduate school, but he failed. And also he wanted to find a design job. Also he couldn't find, because he had never had design training. But when I met him, I found his uh, drawing on the small piece of paper. I feel very interesting. So I asked him to join the 50 monster to me. And also I use the 50 monster as an element of the uh, Yang Gang's uh, in Taiwan uh, the identity. Yeah. This also is his first time to get paid from his artwork. And the second time, Yang Gang's eight, the other year I hold the Yang Gang's eight. And I I found a guy in the fake. A lot of Taiwanese young designer and young artists, they, they uh, 
posted their, their artwork on the fake. The, the ones I, I saw the guys, uh, the artwork on Facebook, I, I think I was very surprised, very impressive. And then after I know him, I, I know he, he, he was not designer, even he didn't have any uh, art, art school, art training of the design training. But in his side job, he just liked to cut the paper from the uh, magazine and made the artwork. So I asked him to make the 50 monster. He just gave me also, uh, I also show uh, the, the monster character as the identity of the Young Guns 8. Um, TDC Tag Director Club is based in Taiwan because before I said, the reason I wanted to design the identity because uh, we are any client, I can do something, anything I want to do. It's kind of experimental. And also I want to try something different. In, the, in this time, um, 2007, I was asked by the new, gra new graphics magazine uh, from the Nanjing, China. Uh, they just give me the full free space to do uh, I, uh, the design, the creation I want to do. In the left, left page, I use the, uh, the, the pattern is kind of, actually it's modern, but also in the Chinese, Chinese traditional pattern is like that. Uh, graph designer usually use a grade to do the type, to design the type of the, to do the layout. And this time I try to use the other way. I design the grid and open to public to use this grid to design something. Yeah, like uh, left page uh, in the magazine, I already use this grid to design this kind, different kind of type. But others of this page only based on the grid. The reader can uh, do however they want to do. And in the 2013, when I uh, started to teach, in, now I work for the school, Taiwan Tech. I taught the, the, the student, the class from the uh, fresh year. And I, uh, I give the assignment to the student. Yeah, because the student uh, didn't have any design background in the high school. So I just give uh, them the same uh, grade. The student, I asked them to write the Thai Director Club of New York, the Chinese character. And then I got a lot of different results. And in the 2013, I, I'm participated in the exhibition called the Taiwan Design Expo. It also is very big uh, design expo in Taiwan, held by the Taiwan Design Center. And in the main exhibition, um, they invited the 10 designers in, uh, to participate. The, it sent me others, all industrial designer, fashion designer, uh, even the uh, architect. And what graph, graphic designer show? show something, show posture. Um, I try to find a different way. I, I made a caroon with the wood and in the surface, I printed the grid, grid. and a lot of seal I made in the top of uh, the caroon. The audience, the visitors can use the seal to make their own, own uh, Word of the pattern. So the subject I call is create your own forms by using this grade. And during the 10 days, allow our audience to participate in, 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 in to put something on, on this career. One of my graduate students, um, he learned Chinese calligraphy when he was kids. So this time I asked her. It's possible to use grade to design uh, uh, as a calligraphy, uh, as a Chinese calligraphy. So he made a poster 
uh, to respond to my, my question. And the student, uh, before the assignment, I give the freshman student, I also give my uh, graduate student, and the same grade, he designed this, uh, the Chinese type. I use this, uh, the typeface design as the P visual to, uh, to show in the identity and line apply in the uh, ID card, even for the exhibition. In the, this is in the 2013. And just uh, 2019 uh, was 100 year anniversary of Bauhaus. And when I, uh, this, this event was cooperated by the uh, Weimar Bauhaus and my school together. Uh, Weimar Bauhaus have uh, five teachers, two professors come to my school to do the workshop. They use the way uh, of the Bauhaus to teach students. And also after the workshop, the students project all show in the exhibition. So when I planning, I curate the event also, I planning how to represent it, how to, how to show the identity. Uh, I just show the grid. Uh, for me, uh, the vertical line and um, the straight line is kind of representing the spirit of the Bauhaus. And then I, I give the uh, I get an empty uh, grid to student to let them create something they like to do. So you, you can see the image, even the ID card, the st student use a sticker. The sticker has a different shape, like the uh, triangle, uh, square, square, and the circle to make their own ID card. You can find her, um, the before uh, 2007, uh, I got, I do something, I created something in the new design, uh, new graphic effect magazine. And the idea was influenced by the, 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 the idea. And in the 2014, uh, the identity of TDC uh, traveling inspiration, I tried to change the color of the Chinese Chinese calligraphy because usually Chinese calligraphy uh, is all black and white. And also uh, lesson four, the try to change your way when you are doing. I mean, uh, because I'm graph designer, after I, I do the graph design for five or 10 years, I found gradually, I always use the same way in the comfort zone the comfort zone was, I feel comfortable. But to uh, try to change something, I mean, when you go out to your comfort zone, maybe it's not comfortable, but uh, when, you, when you overcome the problem, you will feel comfortable. And also you got the improvement. In the 2015, the TDC, and you know the uh, Chinese character is not only the sound, of the phone, also the uh, the, 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 uh, the meaning. And graph designer usually, usually just use the phone, the shape to do the design. And this time I try to use the, the sound, the pronunciation to do the design. As we, uh, you know, the English is very different from the Chinese 
about the pronunciation. So when 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 we talking with the foreigner about the, some country name of the even the movie name of the uh, usually we got confused because it's impossible to translate to English pronunciation to the Chinese pronunciation. So, uh, but luckily I found uh, PDC actually are the T pronounced as the same as K in Chinese. And also D as the job as the Chinese. And uh, C also as suck uh, in the Chinese. I asked my uh, illustrator friend to make him the, to join the Thai monster. Because you know, for me, it's kind of the Western monster find the, with the Eastern monster together. And this one, okay. And the, we all the, 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 the habit, when you're doing something, we all your habit, you change the other way. Uh, in this case, it's 2017. 17, I designed the visual for the TDC in Taiwan. There's some people ask me uh, what I want to express. Actually, I didn't have any meaning in this image. I just try to find um, the feeling. The feeling is I designed the, 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 the Chinese type with the uh, New York Thai Director Club. And also I scraped the word and printed on the curves and then cut the curls to take a photo. One of my students like to take a photo, so uh, she find the model for me, uh, the model wear the, the, the curls and to take a photo. And for me, uh, before the one is kind of like the, the, the local Taiwan religion, the, the, the feeling. And the other one, I use the uh, English to write the, write the type and also print in the uh, curls. And don't ask me uh, why I use the Thai language. I, I didn't have any purpose. Yeah, I just feel the color and the shape is very, uh, very Thai. And 2008, I, I tried to, um, I tried to uh, modernize the Chinese, Chinese character. So this old Chinese character, I made an image. Uh, now I would like to show the 2019 because it since uh, started uh, last year. Okay, um, this is 2009, the identity for the TTC travel expedition to Taiwan. Um, in the 2014, uh, after I, uh, I, import, I, I, I import the TTC to Taiwan, I got an idea. I also want to uh, show the Chinese typography design. So I curate, curated the, the exhibition and I get the word from the Japan and uh, mainland China, Hong Kong, Macau, even Malaysia and Singapore. And uh, also, yeah, sure, I designed the, the identity by myself. You see the, I want to modernize the, the, the Chinese, Chinese, Chinese uh, the cultural image. Yeah, and we hold the uh, three ties. And even in 2014, I cooperated with the, the Singapore designer Yu Ya Lin, um, foreign policy design group. We hold the, uh, the exhibition in uh, Singapore National Design Museum. 
the Yalin said might be his first time the Chinese character design are hold in Singapore. Mm. And we hold the three times. I was regional director for the Taiwan Designers Week since 2008. And every time, actually the, 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 the Designers Week is a uh, biggest design event at the time in Taiwan. And every year they had a different, uh, different subject. And um, because our time is not enough, so uh, I cannot explain very well because every, every project I had an idea I can explain what I, I, I designed this one. And then, yeah, so very quickly to see uh, the, the word 2005, uh, 15 and 2016. Well, um, finally, I would like to say, because today I talk about the, the learning the lure is for breaking the lure. And the final project I would like to show is uh, since 2008, I got a chance to, uh, to use a billboard to communicate with the society. Yeah, and this kind of project is difficult to, uh, to define uh, its advertisement of the content, contemporary art. Yeah, but um, I would like to show, show to, to you guys. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I will. Chi 去写他们对于买房的一个想象因此我想到这一窗只要只有不同的现象的朋友也因此我邀集了不同的插画家、艺术家、绘制了不同造型的大便，看起来不完全看不像，来表达媒体每天在为我们持美丽的大便。Okay, um, the uh, they're doing the the hours. Uh, that you guys hear the what I have done. Uh, during the day, I was in New York and then I went to Taiwan and I bring something, I got some lesson uh, to the Taiwan. Yeah. And also, I some for the kudos, give me the, the opportunity to, uh, to show my work and show my idea to, to everyone. Thanks. It was really interesting, Ken. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my English. <laughs> No, no, I think you did really well. <laughs> Stop being apologetic <laughs> about that. <laughs> because you know the Chinese, Chinese pronunciation, just one word, one sound. It's different from the English, like the bird away, we just call it Bai Lao Hui. So when we speak <laughs> English, it's kind of, we, we, we pronounce it usually got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, uh, I, I caught, I would say 99% of what you said. So I think that, that, that you know, that's really good. Um, 
I mean, th- this is interesting because your journey, I think, as a designer is very different, you know, because you started almost with this art approach to design. and But you touched on a lot of interesting things like creating without any purpose, you know, and then eventually using that as an inspiration for your client work um, or things like, well, you can create content as designers, like an artist, you know, so that that's also very interesting to me. Uh, we actually have a few questions here. Um, I'm just going to read this for you. Okay. What are okay. the differences between design in Taiwan and design in the U S in your opinion? Um, I think the, uh, the people was influenced by the environmental very deeply. I mean, the, because you know, the modern design is came from the, came from the Western. And also the designer, uh, it's kind of surface with the client of communicate with the people. But you know, the, um, maybe I, we need to talk about the cultural problem. I mean, uh, because my older sister, one, one older sister married French guy and he, uh, her kids, uh, I, I, I could understand how he raised his, her kids. And my the other older sister married Japanese. And also because in Japan, you know the 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 the, the older sister in France, uh, France, usually even uh, her child maybe only two two years old, but when any any kind of decision, uh, what kind of clothes he want to wear, uh, he, uh, my sister always just tell her kids to make a decision, you know, um, like the, uh, because it, it's kind of respect the individual. But in Taiwan, our culture, just the same thing happened in the last year, the one of, one of my students in a sophomore student, um, he complained to his parents because he didn't want to study uh, the vocational high school. And actually he is the, 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 the number one student in the vocational high school to gain to my, uh, my school. And um, I just tell him, you need to take care of the responsibility uh, by yourself, whatever decision you make. I mean, the, the respect is very important. If the client, they feel, I pay the money to hire a designer to do a design. So you must listen to me. And sometimes, um, sometimes, you know, designer become the hand of the client. But to be honest, uh, recent year, in the past, past 10 year, um, this kind of situation is getting uh, less. Yeah. So um, when I decided to back to Taiwan, uh, because I got an invitation uh, to be the guest for Facebook for the Taiwan University of Art, my friend asked me, are you sure you want to go back to Taiwan? And then I feel actually, uh, no, not um, compared to New York and Taiwan, it doesn't mean the best place is in New York. I think it's very important is uh, you, feel, you, you feel convenient, you feel comfortable, the, the place you live is, is good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I, not I, sure what my question is. <laughs> no, I think that's a good you know, I, I also have the same similar experience in that way. I think it's where you feel like you belong. That's that's the right place to be. I have another question here from Dao Wang Sun. Um, I found that your design is full of interactivity. What, whether your work interacts with the audience or you invite your students to participate in the creation, how do you think of interactivity in, in design works? Well, um, they're very important because now I, I'm 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 teacher in the university, and in Taiwan usually we had a two way to show the one uh, professor they are writing the theory, and the other uh, this kind of the design professor they are doing the experimental, experimental project, and um, uh, when I was in New York I found. Uh, the something like the people participate in my work, 
So I found in the art, contemporary art, had this kind of like a uh, relationship, the like method to making the art. In the design, also um, had the same, same thing. And I try to dip this kind of uh, method more, more deeply. But in this time, because it's doing the presentation, so I choose my word. I feel I'm satisfied with this work, so I present. But you know, sometimes usually we work for the commercial project. It is difficult to make any decision we can make. We need to, uh, I don't want to say compromise with the client need. Yeah, so, um, but I think still has a long way to go. I mean, the, uh, the, I hope one day I can doing this kind of artwork apply in the design, commercial design project. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, we're out of time. So uh, thank you so much, Ken, for staying up. I think it's midnight there now. <laughs> um, and uh, a few people commented on how good your English was. So don't, don't worry about that. And it's actually very inspiring. Um, I just want to announce two things before uh, we leave. There are two upcoming talks that are quite interesting. One uh, with Karen Cheng on March 4th about uh, an upcoming book, Designing Type, The More I Learn, The Less I Know. Another one on March 11th by uh, Haitam Nawar. It's a history of Arab graphic design. Uh, it's actually Bahia's Shabab and Haitam Nawar. And I'm very excited to announce that there will be uh, a type, a TDC conference coming up in May. Uh, so please save the date. We will be making an official announcement very soon. Uh, it is called the Type Drives Communities. So uh, you can check for the full information on our website and also on our social media channel. So thank you so much, Ken. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Okay. So we'll touch base later. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.